Hello everybody, my name is Sankara and in today's video I am going to share with you my Egyptian God Ojama deck. This is the full deck profile for the Egyptian God Ojama deck. Now if you want to see this deck in action, then be sure to click the card above and check out Tuesday's video in which I showcase um, a bunch of duels using this deck and it won every time. I didn't even just show like the ones that won, no, it just didn't lose. It didn't lose. So <laughs> this is my Egyptian God Ojama deck. So the premise behind this deck um, is... I was, I was thinking of, uh, you know, a, a, a different way to build an Egyptian God deck, and I was playing with Ojamas at the time, I was using the uh, Armed Dragon Thunder deck, and then I realized this card, Ojama Simulation, is a, a single card that can just straight up summon three monsters. And I thought, well that's convenient. <laughs> so this card basically straight up gives you three tributes for the summon of your Egyptian God. So originally what I was doing was I was going to make three different Egyptian god decks, one for each god card. Uh, this was a while ago when I made this, so not recently. But then instead I decided to put them all into one and have them swap out with the side deck. So the side deck features cards um, that support the other Egyptian gods and it includes the other ones themselves, of course. So you swap out your obelisk cards for your slifer cards or your ra cards whatever you want to play with and even before the duel starts if you want swap them out so let's go over the deck um we'll start off with the ojama engine so how does this work exactly so first of all we got three ojama blue of course so this guy is absolutely amazing i mean this guy runs the deck basically when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you're going to add any two ojama cards from your deck to your hand in most cases um you'll probably go for ojama pajama which is also absolutely amazing uh, you might go you go for a drama simulation or you could go for the Oja Magic and Ojama Delta Hurricane sort of combo if you have a way to discard magic there's a lot you can do so yeah really check out Tuesday's videos to see um, all the ways that I use Ojama Blue but basically this guy just searches out anything and that's where all the combos come out of you can even search another blue and set that to get two more cards I would uh, normally just go for the Ojama Pajama and Oja Magic or Ojama Simulation um, in most cases and Pajama Ojama Pajama <laughs> will discard magic with its effect but anyway yeah Ojama Blue searches two Ojama cards um, you might even want to go for Red and Delta Hurricane actually was the combo Red and Delta Hurricane if you've already got the free Ojama brothers in your hand. So next up is Ojama Pink. Um, this guy, I don't use him often. Like, I don't often search for him unless I've already got all the things that I need, but he can still be useful as when he's sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, um, you can use his effect so both players draw one card and discard one. So he just searches out the deck and um, you'll see in Tuesday's video when I use this card's effect, I drew straight into my obelisk which is exactly why I actually grabbed this card and discarded it was hoping I would get obelisk and I did so <laughs> that actually worked out quite well he's not absolutely amazing he's not as good as Ojama Blue but still gives you an extra card which is great next up we have Ojama Red um, this card was not originally in the deck until I realized that obedience school needs free effect monsters with different names and I was like oh well, I don't really work without Ojama Red so, um, but Ojama Red is amazing and I'm actually really glad that I ended up putting this in because I use it quite a lot. This guy, when he's normal summon, can special summon up to four Ojama monsters from your hand in attack position. Now, <clears throat> this uses up your normal summon, so you won't generally use it for um, tributes for a god card, but it gives you up to five monsters to use for link summonings, first off, so you can go into Skull Dread, which I usually do, and it allows you to easily summon your three normal Ojamas to go into Delta Hurricane. So this card is amazing, you only need one because you got plenty of things I can search in with blue and pajama. Um, so you only need the one and you'll probably only use them once you just really go for the OTK once you bring this guy out pretty much. Next up we have two of each of the normal Ojamas, Ojama Black, Ojama Green and Ojama Yellow. Uh, we have two because three is too much and if you just have one of each and you draw into one then magic becomes useless so you really need to have two just to make sure that you have three in the deck at all times for, um, for you to use Ojama Magic because it is surprisingly likely to draw into one of them and that's just really annoying <laughs> uh, when you only have one of each. Okay, finally for the um, Ojama engine for the monsters, we have Z Metal Tank, Y Dragon Head and X Head Cannon. These guys are obviously the 
main monsters that you're going to summon for the tributes of your Egyptian god cards. Okay, so let's continue with the Ojama engine. I'll just chuck this down here. Um, so next up we got Obedient Schooled. This card, again, all the spell cards are basically just either search for Ojamas or get out tributes for your god cards. So Obedient Schooled, um, if you have no monsters, then you special summon three level two or lower beast effect monsters with different names from your deck. So this card is just a one card, three tributes easy. However, you can only special summon beast monsters for the rest of the turn um, so it's best saved for your Egyptian god if you have one you want to use this for your Egyptian god but in an emergency you can use this and then we do have quite a few beast monsters in the extra deck that you can go into but like you won't be able to go into a skull dread or anything. Uh, next up we got Ojama Country this card can bring Ojamas back from the graveyard which is good to get one extra tribute but it's mainly um, you want to get that discard effect so send an Ojama from your hand to the graveyard this gets off their effects of like magic and pink so that's that's the main reason that country is in there. I don't use it often, but it definitely comes in handy. And swapping your opponent's attack and defense can also be quite good. We also have uh, Ojama Emperor, which will gain 3,000 attack by this effect. So it's pretty good. It's not a bad card, but we only need one. We don't need more than that. Two Ojama Delta Hurricane. I usually swap um, one of these out when I'm swapping in one of the other Egyptian gods, but two Ojama Delta Hurricane. Delta Hurricane is just like, it's so good. It's too strong. If you have green, yellow, and black all on the field, then you just destroy every single card on your opponent's field, and it's amazing. And then you just link summon into something else, or summon an Egyptian guard, or whatever you want to do. It's, it's really good. It's a very powerful card. I'll usually grab it um, with Blue's effect and go into Hurricane and Red if I'm doing that, um, if I have the other Ojamas in my hand, then this is just, it's too easy, it's too easy. Next we got one Ojama, one Oja Magic. You only need one again, because you don't want to, we don't normally draw into this card. Instead, we search it with Ojama Pajama and then immediately discard it to get its effect off. Uh, when this card's sent from the handle field to the graveyard, you add yellow, green, and black to your hand, which is extremely useful. Next we have two Ojama Simulation. Um, originally I had three, but I swapped it out for something else instead. I swapped it out for another Soul Crossing, just because Ojama Simulation is easily searchable by Blue and Ojama Pajama, so you don't, like, need to draw into it, and you don't need three, and you probably won't use three. I have used two in a duel before, that can definitely happen, but three, you probably won't use three. So just two Ojama Simulations. Um, this card is the main way to bust out your three tributes for your Egyptian gods, or for anything, really. Um, <clears throat> you reveal a light machine fusion monster in your extra deck, that being XYZ Dragon Cannon, then banish Ojama monsters from your hand field or graveyard, and then special summon the fusion materials from your hand field or graveyard. So you banish three Ojamas from your graveyard and special summon all three of them. It's an easy way to bring out three monsters, like one card, three monsters, so easy. Oja magic to get those three Ojamas in your hand and then banish them all with Ojama Simulation. It also has an extra effect that lets you shuffle the banished Ojamas back into your deck and draw one card, which is pretty good. Next we have one Raigeki for obvious reasons. A Terraforming to add one of your field spells. Next we have a, I suppose if we're doing that, I'll put that there. We have Harpy's Feather Duster as well, of course. Get rid of all those spell traps. Um, next we have Tri White. Tri White is again another one card, three tribute spell. Um, you activate this special summon three of your normal monsters from the graveyard, and then that's three tributes right off the bat. You can also um, get your Ojama Delta Hurricane going with Tri White as well. Next we have two Ojama Pajama. Um, I mainly don't have three because there's not really room for three. <laughs> Honestly, um, if you wanted to be extra efficient, I would take out a Divine Evolution or a Fist of Fate for Ojama Pajama, but I never had any problems though. I never had any problems. I always got Ojama Pajama in, I think, every duel that I did on Tuesday's video, so you don't really need three, and you can only use one once per turn. It's a hard once per turn, so you don't, like, need multiple on the field. Won't help you, so just having two is fine, and you can always search it with Ojama Blue as well, which is what I usually do if I don't just draw it myself. So, yeah, Ojama Pajama is amazing. Um, during either player's turn, you can search for any Ojama card in your deck and then discard a card. Normally, the first search I will do is search for magic and then immediately discard magic to get my three Ojamas in the hand, which is key. And then after that, it's just search for whatever combo pieces you need. The speed at which this deck busts out your combo pieces, it's insane. You can so easily, like, pretty much every time within the second turn, I will be able to summon three monsters for a tribute for an Egyptian god. The only problem is actually drawing that Egyptian god. So next we have three Arbalus the Tormentor. Um, again, 
this is the obelisk deck and you swap it out with your side deck for the Slifer or Ra parts. But we have three of the Egyptian God because you need three. You need to draw this card. There's no way to search it unless um, your field spell gets destroyed. But yeah, so you need three because you want to draw it. You really need to draw it. And if you have it in your hand, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to summon it. Like there's never been a problem with being able to summon an Egyptian God. There's always a way with this deck. It's so easy and it's absolutely amazing. Um, next we have a Divine Evolution just because um, for the obelisk version of the deck I went for a sort of power base thing so that's why the divine evolution gives him an extra thousand attack and defense two fist of fate to go of obelisk one mount of the bound creator this field spell is brilliant it protects your obelisk or any of your Egyptian gods from targeting or being destroyed so it is fantastic and if it's destroyed you can add a divine monster from your deck to your hand um, I've never really had a problem I've always gotten this when I needed it so one seems to be fine you've got the terraforming as well and you know, this deck just thins itself out so fast. Uh, most of the time you probably won't even need it, but just in case, it's there. Next, of course, of course, we have three Soul Crossing, because Soul Crossing is just the, the most amazing card ever. Tribute three of your opponent's monsters, even during their turn, summon an Egyptian god. Soul Crossing is brilliant, I've talked about it enough. Soul Crossing, amazing, you need three, you need three, it's, you need three. Um, finally we have Ultimate Divine Beast, this card is just there to, mainly just to get all the um, god card support in there, but it is a good card if your Egyptian god goes to the graveyard then Ultimate Divine Beast is definitely quite useful and its second effect as well to um, nuke the field is also fantastic. So yeah, Ojamas are bloody brilliant, okay, Ojamas work so well with Egyptian gods because Ojamas are just, they're gods in their own right. They are the god of field presence, of, sorry, they're the god of card advantage, rather. These guys can stupidly easily get out uh, five monsters, even. They, they're even so good at getting out five monsters, but so easily get out three monsters in this deck, like, it's not even funny. And also, the hand advantage? I, like, never have less than six cards in my hand when I'm running Ojamas, right? Like, Ojamas are the god of card advantage. You have so many cards in your hands, just because magic adds three, blue adds two, you're just always just piling up cards in your hand that you don't know what to do with. <laughs> and that is absolutely amazing, which is why the deck runs so well, because you need cards, you got cards, you got cards, and of course the hand card advantage goes extremely well with Slife for the Sky Dragon, which is another reason why I actually thought to use Ojamas is because hand advantage, Slife's attack points, it's it's math, it's simple math guys, it's simple math, just add it together. <laughs> so that's what makes Ojamas so good with Egyptian gods. So let's go through the side deck to show you what I've got for the other gods. So we've got um, three Winged Dragon of Ra. Uh, for Ra, we got three Ra's, so swap out your three Obelisks for three Ra's. Uh, two Ancient Chants to add Ra and also to give Ra attack points. Ancient Chant is a fantastic card, it's really, really strong. It's good, and it gives you an extra Tribute Summon as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you can Tribute Summon one monster during your main phase this turn. So Ancient Chant is simply amazing. Uh, Blaze Cannon, this card is really quite good, adds more protection for your Ra. Um, <clears throat> but can also be relatively situational, you won't always use it, but it does protect your Ra from everything. Sebex Blessing is mainly because I um, needed an extra card in the side deck, but Sebex <laughs> Blessing is actually quite useful in that um, if you summon Ra, pay all of your life points to give Ra attack, then attack with Ra, and then you don't finish off your opponent, you can drop a Sebex Blessing to restore your life points, or if you're already running low on life points, um, like we saw in the Tuesday's video, Civic's Blessing will restore your life points from one attack and then um, you gain the same. You, you gain life points for Ra. I used it when I attacked with my Saryuja Skull Dread to give myself 2800 extra life points and that's what actually caused me to win that duel was because of Civic's Blessing. So, don't knock Civic's Blessing, it's a good card, it works! It's good, okay? It's 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 fine. It's it's a good card. It also ha features another Egyptian god, Sebek, who is a you no know, actual Egyptian god. So it's good. It's fine. It's it's an okay. Card. It's more in there just for fun. This deck was made for fun, but turns out it works really well. And Sebek's blessing, it it helped. It caused me to win a duel. So let's not knock it. Um, finally, we have Sun God Unification. This card is fantastic with Ra. It gives you your life points back, and it can also be used to. Um, give Ra more life points if you didn't pay it in the first place, so Sun God Unification is a pretty fantastic card. And for the Slifer deck, we have three Slifer the Sky Dragon, 
2 Supply Squad and 2 Thunder Force Attack. Thunder Force Attack is an amazing card, lets you draw um, a bunch of cards when you destroy all your opponent's monsters as well. Um, <clears throat> Slifer works so well with Ojamas, as I said before, the hand advantage is insane. You will always have like 6 cards in your hand, I know I didn't show that in Tuesday's video, but still, <laughs> you always have a bunch of cards in your hand. To power up Slifer and then this card just adds even more cards to your hand. Same with Supply Squad. I realize Supply Squad isn't the best card in the game but um, it works. You might if you prefer. I think I made this deck before um, part, part, of, uh, part, part of Extravagance came out so if you prefer swap out your Supply Squads for an Extravagance but um, the odds that any of these monsters in your main deck will actually survive if you leave them on the turn is not very high. So Supply Squad works with Ojamas simply because Ojamas have such low attack and defense. If you leave an Ojama on the field, it will more than likely be destroyed and then with Supply Squad you'll get to draw a card. So not bad. Searches for your deck and gives you more attack points for Slifers, um, for Slifers attack. Gives you more attack for Slifer's attack? What? <laughs> Gives you more attack points for Slifer the Sky Dragon anyway. So yeah, that's the basic strategy of this deck is swap, swap out. Keep your opponent guessing. They think you're running Obelisk, BAM! Switch out for Slifer. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I showcased all of the Egyptian Gods in Tuesday's video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, we have the extra deck. The extra deck admittedly could use a bit more work, but I never really needed anything else. I mean, this deck, this extra deck works quite well. It's surprisingly effective and it's it's pretty good I quite like it so first of all we got XY Dragon Head and XYZ Dragon Cannon now obviously XYZ Dragon Cannon is kind of essential for this deck because that's what you use with Ojama Simulation to bust out your free monsters for the tribute so you you do need this in the extra deck um, you may not summon it I don't think I ended up summoning it at all in any of the duels in Tuesday's video but it is a very useful card it just never came up that I needed it because its effect is that you can discard one card, target one card to your opponent controls and destroy it. So whether that card is a monster, a spell or a trap, this card can get rid of any problematic card as long as it can target it and destroy it. <laughs> but yeah, this card gets rid of any card on the field and boasts a sizable 2800 attack points. Very easy to summon with Ojama Simulation as well. Just keep in mind that in order to summon it, you will need to banish the materials from your fields, which means that you won't be able to use um, simulation afterwards. Normally, if I'm going into this, it will be after I've already summoned an obelisk, and then I draw my second Ojama simulation, and then I'll use that one, and then go into XYZ Dragon Cannon. The other option is XY Dragon Cannon. The only reason I have this in here is just in case, for whatever reason, you um, only are able to get out two of your monsters, you only have two Ojamas, Handfield or Graveyard would be very unlucky, but maybe you lose your Z Metal Tank somehow, I don't know, but nonetheless, this card can um, discard a card to target one face up spell or trap your opponent controls and destroy it, so it still gets rid of, it still has that spell and trap destruction, just doesn't have the monster destruction, it has lower attack, but <clears throat> just in case, I added it in anyway, you could take it out, swap it out for something else. If you want, I've never actually used this. I think I have once, um, just not in Tuesday's video. Doesn't come up often, but I mean, you can always go into your Nightmare Phoenix, which does literally the same thing, but slightly better. So <laughs> it's less attack, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's an option. It's just another option. For our XC's monsters, we have Melfi Mommy. Melfi Mommy is just great. <laughs> She's just great for stalling. Um, if you're in a bad situation, Melfi Mommy can definitely protect you long enough to bust out your Egyptian gods. Like, if you don't have any of your combo pieces, but you can go into Melfi Mommy, you can just go into Melfi Mommy and stall for a bit. So, Melfi Mommy gains effects. Um, she needs 2 plus level 2 beast monsters, and she gains effects based on the number of materials that she has. Two of those effects, I mean, one of them being can't be destroyed by battle, take no battle damage, and then inflicting damage to your opponent equal to the attack of their monster's attack. So she basically becomes u Bell, but a little bit worse, and yeah, but it's a good card. Melfi Mommy definitely, definitely is a good card, especially running in a beast deck, so I added it in. Uh, next we got number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sundayu. This card is great when you bust out your Egyptian God and still have two monsters left over. Look, um, overlay them into your number 64 and then 64's effect will basically give you a second Egyptian God, so that's just fantastic. Uh, number 96, Dark Mist. Dark Mist is a good card for level 2s. I mean, yeah, he's good. Good, definitely comes in handy. 
And same with the Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin is just another good rank 2 card that can do something. Um, change an opponent's monster's attack to zero. So yeah, it's a pretty good effect. Can definitely help you get past problematic monsters as well. Next we have a Defender of the Labyrinth. So it requires two normal monsters and gives non-effect monsters 500 attack. Probably don't ever go into him, but he can come up. Um, of course we have the Nightmare card. So we got Nightmare Cerberus. Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, don't have to explain why we have them, they're amazing. A Link Spider, I actually used quite, like two times in Tuesday's Duels, I believe. <clears throat> Link Spider's great, easy Link one, just requires one normal monster, and he lets you special summon a level 4 normal monster um, from your hand once per turn, which is also fantastic. Easy to get out your, maybe your third tribute for Obelisk. Uh, next we have Ojama Emperor, this card is kind of pretty good. I mean, 3,000 attack if you've got Ojama Country on the field. I did actually end up using him. He's great, just requires three beast monsters, including an Ojama monster for a sizable 3,000 attack, as well as some other effects. Um, but yeah, Ojama Emperor is, is a good card. Probably don't often bring it out. The one I bring out the most is Saryu just Skulldred. Skulldred, I don't need to explain this, right? Draw four cards, put three on the bottom of your deck. Skulldred's amazing, and getting out four monsters in this deck is stupidly easy, so <laughs> it's so easy to bust out Skulldred. It's not even funny. Um, next we have Tribal Grade for Rigid the Baron Blossom. Uh, she needs two beast monsters, so it works with the Ojamas, and um, what does she do? During your main phase, you can special summon a level 4 or lower beast monster from your hand. So that effect is obviously pretty good, busts out an extra card. Um, you know, it's not bad, and if she's sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card and place a card from the end of the bottom of your deck. So drawing a card's always great. I use that when I dueled against the Dogmatica deck. Um, I just, uh, you know, Maximus made me send two cards to the graveyard. I sent for Rigid and drew a card. Go me. <laughs> So yeah, not a bad card, um, not fantastic, don't often go into it, I don't think I ever, have ever gone into it, but it's not a bad card, can definitely come in handy. And finally, Unchained Abomination. Unchained Abomination is just like, he's an abomination, alright, this card is awesome. <laughs> I love Unchained Abomination, this card is so cool, requires two monsters including a Link monster, but we have access to Link Spider, so that is no problem. You'll, I don't think you'll ever have four effect monsters on the field and not a normal monster. I mean, that seems so unlikely. I mean, you could with no, even then that's a normal monster. So <laughs> yeah, so as long as you have a normal monster, swap out one for Link Spider and then swap all the others for Unchained Abomination. Definitely comes in handy. I used them once in the duel, um, on the duels on Tuesday. Normally I'll go for Skulldred. Skulldred basically will always get an Egyptian God to your hand if you don't already have it. So since we have three gods in the deck, this card is very easy to get your final combo pieces with Skeldred. But, again, um, like when I was up against the boss rush deck, that deck can be pretty difficult to get over because of its field spells and high attack and lack of destruction by battle anyway, so Unchained Abomination definitely helped out with that. He can destroy like up to three cards per turn, just every end phase destroys something. Whenever something's destroyed by another card effect, destroy something. Destroy something by battle, blow something else up. It's pretty great. <laughs> Jane Abomination is a lot of fun. I just, I like him. I like him. He's a lot of fun. So that's it for the Ojama Egyptian God deck. Once again, Ojamas are just fantastic for field and hand advantage, so which is why they work so well with Egyptian Gods. Main strategy is the Ojama Simulation to bust out three monsters, but we of course also have Soul Crossing, Try White, Obedience School. All these cards are great, just single cards that get out your three tributes nice and easy. It's so easy to summon an Egyptian god. As long as you have one in your hand, you're probably able to summon it. And even if you don't, there are so many other options with the extra deck. And just busting out these three, with, that's some pretty high damage. And then also going into extra deck monsters. Check out Tuesday's video to see all the combos and fun stuff that you can do with this deck. And to see just how awesome this deck is. I mean, Delta Hurricane is just... Being able to use this card in a deck is just fantastic. Ojama Delta Hurricane, that's the one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. I hope you enjoyed this deck if you ever use it. Let me know down in the comments if you build this deck for yourself. Let me know how it goes. It's probably not meta. I'll say that now. It probably won't do so well, but I mean... I beat Dogmaticus, so, you know, it's not going to do horribly against the meta, just, it really depends. But, it's a pretty good deck, especially for casual, it just dominates everything. So, thank you all so much for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment, tell me what you thought, satisfy me by hitting that subscribe 
button and the bell icon below. To be notified when more videos come out, I will be doing more Egyptian God decks throughout the rest of the month that are even more awesome, including a Creator of Light FTK. So, be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out. And once again, thank you all so very much for watching. My name has been Senkara, and until next time, see ya.